The boneless, a trick that is recommended to every beginner skateboarder, but then somewhere along the lines, turns out to be a trick that some skaters hate on as being a beginner or easy trick. Well, let me tell you that the boneless is awesome. As a personal fan of using my hands in skateboarding, the boneless is a trick that drew my attention from the very beginning. And watching amazing skaters solidified that no matter what others say, this is an awesome trick. Hi, I'm Sarah and today I'm going to talk about how to boneless. Now the boneless is an awesome trick and if you want to get into it, a few tricks that might help you out are the hippie jump and the caveman. So let's just jump in and break this trick down. The boneless is done by bending down and grabbing your board with your back hand while taking your front foot off of the board and holding the board to your foot while jumping into the air. Once you're in the air, you just need to bring that foot back up onto the bolts to land or roll away. Now, since this trick does not require a pop, you can easily keep both your feet on the bolts. I actually learned this trick probably incorrectly with my back foot on the tail, which made it a lot harder to balance and ended up giving me a much longer road to a nice boneless. Sometimes I still keep my back foot on the tail because bad habits are hard to break. But now I always focus on keeping my foot on the bolts to stay nice and stable and steady. I cannot stress enough that you are the most stable with your feet on the bolts. More importantly, I always like to keep my front foot off to the side of the front bolts so I can easily take that foot off the board. I also like to grab the board right in the middle, not too high and not too low. That seems to give me the best board control and it's in a good spot for variations. If I grab too high or too low, the board seems to just sink or sag in a direction that I don't want it to. If you are familiar with any of my other tutorials, you've probably noticed that I like to break my tricks down into progressive methods. This trick is no different and this is the method that I used to get this trick and also the one that I still use when I want to work on my boneless or have trouble committing to it, which is the bigger problem. <laughs> Step one, caveman. Both from the side and the front. It's a good jumping warm up and similar in motion. Step two, just hold the board to your foot and jump on. I love practicing tricks from the end if I can. And this right here really helped me and still helps me to commit to this trick. To this day, I still have to jump on my board like this at least once before I can do a clean boneless. Anyway, grab the board and hold it in the air. I like to keep some tension between my thumb on the grip and my fingers under the graphic. So I don't pinch the board between my thumb and fingers. They're spread out a little bit to keep some stability in the grab. So with this stable board, I jump and then focus on pulling my knees into my stomach. This is really scary at first, so it's always a good idea to start really small. Probably one of the best parts about this trick is that you can do it so gradually and get really comfortable with it. Step three is to add in the bend. Bend down, step off, grab the board and jump. It's basically your slow motion boneless. Step four, doing your best to make it smooth. And this is where the magic happens. Slowly try to increase your speed to a rate you're comfortable with. Step five is getting a little more motion. Yes, this is where you can finally start moving. Go slow at first and keep picking up speed. If you can already kill the stationary boneless, you should be able to do it rolling with a little practice and a little grit. And once again, by starting small. 
The best step and my favorite is number six, and that is to get creative. Once you can boneless, there are so many things you can do. Now, before sending you off to just go practice this method, there's a few other tips that might come in handy. When you reach down and grab the board, you have to take your front foot off the board. But one thing that you might do by mistake if your front foot is too far back or on the tail is pop it up by accident and smack your hand, which is painful and not fun. So remember to keep that foot in a stable place over the bolts or at least be aware if you're going to keep your foot on the tail. Also, be aware of where you're leaning. You want to make sure that you're jumping straight up and that when you come down, you're keeping your body weight centered and not leaning. If you lean forward while doing the boneless, it's really easy to fall forward and lose your balance. It's also very easy to fall to either side So like I said, start really small and keep your knees bent while landing to soften any momentum. In the beginning, you might end up bending at the back to grab your board. But as you get better, you really want to try and bend at the knees as soon as you can. You don't want to hurt your back doing this trick and it will look way better. It will also help you preload the jump. You have a lot more power jumping from a squatted position than you do jumping from relatively straight legs and a bent back. Bend your knees again when jumping. You don't have to jump crazy high for this trick. You can get lots of height just by sucking your knees up into your chest. And once again, it will look awesome. This trick is so much fun and you can get so creative with it. It's not just a simple beginner's trick and that's all that matters. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope you got something out of it, and I hope to see you next week.